Minecraft 120 is here and has released a brand new biome, the Cherry Grove. So today I want to set off on an adventure to find this biome, make a cherry wood farm and build an amazing cherry blossom castle. But before we can begin today's journey, I need to repair my gear at the zombie farm and AFK at Frank so I can craft some more rockets. And with that, I think I've got everything that I'm going to need for this episode. So let's pack this away, grab my ender chest and go try find a cherry biome. Now we did head out this way last episode. We got some good luck with that jungle we found where we built this awesome looking village. So I say we go this way again. Shouldn't take too long to find 120 stuff. Oh wait, there is a village there. Is there anything cool a new spawn here? But you know what? It's night time. I'm using your bed, sir. Ah, oh, fresh new day. Got any cool loot? I mean, I'll take these bookshelves. You know what? There might be a blacksmith here. Oh, a cat. Oh, the one time I don't have fish on me. All right, well, it doesn't look like this place was a blacksmith, but well, it does have whatever the heck this is. Um, hello, who lives here? Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, good. It's a door that leads to some stone. Okay, bye. I'm off to find cherry wood. Moron. All right, let's keep it moving. Oh, we are getting some mountains though, you know. Doesn't the cherry stuff spawn near mountains? Um, it's not looking likely at the moment. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought that was cherry then, but it's goddamn pigs. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have hit you. Literally right here. Yo, let's go. How big is it? Oh. Uh, oh, no, it keeps going over this way. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, it does go over here as well. How big is this bit? Uh, hmm. Right, I think I prefer it over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because look at the view this place has got. Whoa, this is awesome. Hey, pig, what do you think? Should we build here? He does not seem impressed. Oh, whatever, screw that guy. Let's check out some of this wood. Oh, this is so exciting. All right, so we've got these logs. Can we strip them? Yes. Oh, now you're in... Right, I guess we can make planks with these, yeah. So stairs, slabs, oh, this is cool, this is cool. Right, let's lay this down. All right, here we go. This is pretty nice, you know. I do need to think of what I'm going to build with this. And I do have a bit of an idea, but it is going to require me chopping down a whole bunch of these trees. Because I think for what I want to do, I'm going to need quite a bit of space. So, uh, time lapse. All right, I think that should be enough space for now. Well, I hope so anyway. So we did manage to get quite a bit of this cherry wood. It's like two and a half stacks. But I think I am going to need quite a lot more than that. I'm not really sure I want to deforest this whole new biome. Because, well, that kind of defeats the purpose of the episode, doesn't it? So with that in mind, I'm thinking we grab the cherry wood that we've got and try and make some sort of cherry wood farm. And I suppose down here is as good a spot as any. I think I want to flatten out this area a little bit, though. Because seeing as these trees are a little bit annoying to chop down, I want to come up with a way to make it a little bit easier. Yep, I think that's going to do it. Quick sleep first. Don't think I don't see you, buddy. Get out. Don't ruin my new biome. Oh, bruh. Oh, we got these things, though. Pink petals. Oh, you can place more in one. Oh, that is so cool. The more you place, the more that fills. I guess that kind of works like the sea pickles, right? That is awesome. Oh, my God. Look at all these blocks here. Oh, so much is going to get wasted. So I want to craft up a bunch of these cherry planks. And my plan is to have rows of these cherry trees running from here all the way down to the end. I'm going to mark where they're planted with these cherry planks. A bit of grass in the middle. Now I'll give a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then do the next one. We can plant our saplings in the middle. Now I just got to do this like a bunch more times. Oh, geez. Here we go. All right, everyone. I've been stood around waiting for these cherry trees to grow. So at this point, I'm wondering why I didn't bring bone meal with me. It's not like we got a super overpowered mob farm back at the base. But you can see all these cherry trees are grown. And look how organized it's looking around here. But if I start chopping one of these trees down, you'll see there's a bit of a problem where some of these are a bit annoying to reach. And I've got a bit of an idea to combat that. Well, I say I've got an idea. Back a few weeks ago when I was playing on one shot, just had a tree farm that had a water elevator that shot you right up above the trees with a nice platform that made them easy to chop down. So I'm thinking... I want to do something similar. I mean, I say similar. I mean, literally exactly the same. Oh God, I don't have flint and steel. Gravel, I need you. Come on, just drop some flint. Yes, first try. Ow, oh, it's a trident guy. Get out. You know what? Fight him. Get this on. Ow, die. Give me the trident. Where is he? Oh, trident? No. All right, we'll get this back on. And get me out of here. All right, flint and steel. Let's get in here. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> that was easy. I was just about to say, if I want to make a water elevator, then I need some soul sand. Uh, there we go. And I guess if I need bone meal, then uh, it's right here. Nice. Now I'm going to grab these doors, some more of this pink wood. I'm going to fly down here, and I think we're going to make the elevator here. So we'll build up a bunch of blocks around it. Yeah, around here should be good. So let's hop down, break out these, place it all like this and open it. And I forgot my buckets. Thank you. I'll make a quick water source. And now to start filling in this funnel 
thing, I guess. Nice, nice. Now I'm gonna make a bunch of these slabs. Shoot up here. Then let's go build a platform that just goes between all the trees. And that way I can just chop them down from the top. Oh yes, this is making it so much easier. Oh yes, I love it. Right now I just got a bit slabbed across the rest of the farm. Ugh. Tell you what, I'll bring you back when I've done it because this is probably gonna take a while. And here we are. I got all the platforms in. So if we take a trip up here, you can see we've got all the rows of this pink wood. So I'm pretty pleased with that. You can see here I started gathering up a bunch of this pink wood. But I think I want to make this place look a little little bit nicer. And I'm thinking what if we have some paths that lead between all the trees. So we bring it around like this. Um, you know what? I'm going to tear out this bit and tear out this bit. And what would it look like if we started tracking some more of this pink wood in? Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty nice. I guess we want it to go down this way as well. Oh yeah, this is going to look nice. I just got to get it going all the way throughout here. So let's get that done. All right, here we go. This place is looking a lot more organized. Now, one thing I have been noticing is that I've been getting attacked by a few mobs. So I think I want to throw up a little fence around this thing. So we'll craft a bunch of these. And you know what? One more thing. Let me grab some of this iron, make some more shears. So I want to hop up here and grab some of these leaves. Now I want to take these leaves and place them around the edge. And then I can run these fences all the way along the top, just like that. That gives us a nice looking border. Now just to do it all the way around the whole farm. All right, I'm feeling a lot safer in here now. Next up, I actually want to get some lighting in here. All right, lighting sorted, and that is... That's a lot of torches. Oh, lanterns would just look so much better. Oh, fine, I'll go caving. Oh, hello. Bye. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right, let me down here. Ow, ow. Where's the iron? Oh, God, it's the worst cave ever. Oh, spawner. Light it up. Any cool loot? Ooh, diamond horse armor. Yep, no iron, though. I've got to find a better cave. Yep, this looks pretty good. Oh, okay, that was a lot of damage. Come on, I just need some iron. Oh, jeez. Okay, now let's get some iron. Well, you know what? I think that's going to be enough iron for now, because I do not want to fall down there. Oh, but diamond, I'll be taking you, and I'll see you back at the cherry farm. We should be just through here. Oh, yep. I thought it was this way. Very good. Right, let's craft some furnaces. Slap these down and start smelting it all up. See you when it's done. All right, so I got all the lanterns in. And I got to say, this place is looking a lot more fancy. But not only that, I've been chopping a lot of cherry wood. Because, well, I've been trying to figure out what to build today. And, well, I've been struggling. Now, I've got a rough idea what to do with all this stuff. But I'm not sure we can just use this cherry wood on its own. So, for the first time ever this series, I think we need to hop over to a test world. Right, here we are in a flat world. And let's just slap down some of these blocks. Now, I need to try and figure out what's going to go with this. I'm not going to come in here. I'm going to type in purple. I mean, maybe this terracotta would be nice. I don't think I've ever used purple, so I think I'm going to grab that as well. Oh, pink terracotta, magenta. This could be nice. You know what? We need some slabs and stairs as well. Mangrove could be good. Oh, or maybe this crimson. All right, let's put all this down. So we've got the mangrove. It's not bad. Or we've got the crimson. Hmm, kind of feeling the crimson, you know? Though that does mean going to the nether to collect wood. But I think that could be worth it. I think that's quite a nice palette. I'm not so sure about this one. Hmm. See ya. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. You know what? I'm wondering. Pink glazed terracotta. Yes, I like that. All right, I think that's going to be our block palette. So we're uh, back to the hardcore world. So I went to the mesa to collect a bunch of terracotta, hopped into the nether to grab some crimson wood, and ventured into the end to pick up some of these things. So as far as I know, if I grab my bow and some arrows, I should be able to shoot these things off. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is what I use to grow them. I should just be able to chop them down. Oh, yeah. Looks like the bamboo all over again. Oh, God. Please, not like this. Oh, jeez. See ya. Come on, heal. Place this down. Grab a totem. Who's back? Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... Right, let's just get some of these things and get back home. Right, I think I'm going to grab some endstone as well, just so I can make a farm for these things. Because I do not want to be coming back here anytime soon. All right, let's grab our end chest and get the hell out of here. Now, I'm thinking this is probably going to take us back to spawn, because I have broken my bed. But I think that's all right. I think I'm going to build a little chorus fruit farm there. Here we are. And well, I suppose here seems like as good a spot as any, right? Right, I'm going to wait for all this to grow and start processing up all our blocks. And then once that's done, we can head back to the build site and actually, well, start building. All right, well, I think I've collected everything that I'm going to need. I say that, I just need a bunch of this cherry wood. There we go. And I think the first 
first thing I have to do is flatten out a bit of an area. So I think we'll come out like this and bring this all the way across. All oh, these flowers are in the way. And what I'm trying to do here is flatten out a 21 by 21 area. Because I'm pretty sure that's going to be the size of our build. All right, there we go. And it looks like we've got a visitor already. See ya. But I think the first thing I want to do is grab a bunch of this purple and start creating an actual base for the build to go on. That way it's also going to make the terraforming look, you know, not so terrible. Can't actually believe I'm using purple, but you know, there's a first time for everything. And you're probably going to have to trust me on this one. This is going to look good, I promise. All right, there we go. Now in here is going to be the floor. And I think for that, I want to use these cherry planks. But to make the blocks last more, I'm going to build it out of slabs. There we go. But now we got this base out of the way, it's actually time we can start working on the structure. Okay, now when I think of cherry blossom, I think of Japan. And that's why after a lot of thinking, I've decided I'm going to try and build a Japanese style castle. Now I've never done this before, so I'm not too sure how it's going to turn out. So you're going to have to bear with me here. I'm going to try and talk us through this. I think what we'll do is work on this front side first. I'm just starting off by building these pillars with this magenta terracotta at the bottom. And then obviously the stripped cherry wood at the top. So what I think we're going to do is bring cherry wood across here and then leave this middle bit here as an entrance. Then take these cherry trap doors, put them right to the top like that, flip them all over. What does that look like from this side? Yes, yes, I like it, I like it. Guess I'll get that on all of these. I want to come around the front here and run some slabs along the top. There we go. I'm going to bring these cherry logs up a couple more. Run these fence gates along the top of these slabs. And in behind that, I'm going to place this pink glazed terracotta. So I think that's going to give us a nice little highlight. It should end up being fairly hidden, I think. We'll pop down and take a look. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good. You can't really see it, but it does give a nice little pink glow. Right, let's hop back up. I'm thinking I'm going to pop out some logs here and then fill in this gap. We'll throw some buttons on the front of these. Looks like a game of parkour. I'm so good. Ow. <laughs> right, I think I'm going to work on our entrance now. We'll try some more cherry logs in here. So I kind of want the entrance to be set back just to give a little bit more depth. So we'll put stairs here, fill this gap in with cherry wood, get some trap doors on the sides, and then also along here as well. Oh yeah, this is really starting to come together. Right, I want to start getting a bit more detail into this now. So underneath all these logs, I'm going to check these fence gates. And on top of these ones, I'm going to put some fences. Now I'm going to start running these stairs across the top here, right until we get to the middle. We're just going to put a normal block, and then we're going to mirror it on the other side. Oh yeah, that's given us a nice bit of decoration along the top. But now it's time to actually start getting the roof in. And for this roof, I want to use these crimson slabs. So we're going to start off just by running it along the top here. And we'll just keep bringing it back one slab at a time. Out. Right, I'm just going to pillar up in the middle here. And I want to start working in a little bit of shape into this roof. So on the entrance, I want it to have a little bit of a lip. There we go, that's a bit more interesting. And I also want Japanese buildings. So have a little flick on the corner. So we knock out these three. There's some slabs here and here. Temporary block there. Temporary block there. Knock this out. A slab there. Knock that away. And we'll take a look. There you go. You can see the little flick out there. That looks so good. And we'll fly up and take a look from the sky. There we go. That's looking so nice. But my plan is obviously to have this on all four sides of the building. And I want to stack it up maybe another two layers but i think you guys get the idea now and i say we kick it into a time lapse let's get building Well, here it is, the finished castle. This thing is looking so nice. But we still do have quite a lot to do, including rescuing this poor bunny. Oh, were you trapped, little guy? But the thing I want to work on now is actually the entrance. So I want to use this purple to make a staircase. We'll fill in these little gaps. There we go. And I actually want to take these purple pillars, because we've not used these yet. We'll build them up on the side of the stairs. First person using the entrance. Idiot. You know what? I'm going to knock these ones here down. Maybe we'll add another row here. Does that look good? Maybe here as well. Oh, you know what? That looks fine. Now, one thing you may notice here is I've added some leaves. And for some reason, I've not done it on the bottom. So let's just throw a bunch of these in. And I think on the front entrance, I want to grab some of this acacia wood and make it into trap doors. And I'm going to use this as sort of like holding the leaves back. I think it's going to give a nice pop of extra colour. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like that. Yep, yep, yep. Right, I just want to get the entrance ready on the sides as well. So we got one on this side. And well, this one's just flat anyway, so it's done. But now with the exterior details done, I do want to start working on the inside a little bit. This place is looking um kind of weird, but also kind of cool. But I think I'm just going to work on the ground floor, which means we need some sort of roof. And I'm thinking if I fly up onto the 
second floor out. Can I squeeze through there? Yes. What if we bring this in a bit? And we'll try and do this all the way around. Hop down. Yes, yes. Something's starting to come together. I want to kind of blend this into here. So I'm just going to work on this little corner here, just so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, this corner you can see is nicely blended in. All right, now if I take these crimson fences and just run them along here. There we go. We've got a nice little balcony thing. But now I just need to carry this all the way around the side. So I'm going to see when that's done. All right, this is starting to look a lot tidier. I think now I'm going to fill in all of these gaps here. That way we've got a solid ring of this going all the way around the edge. All right, nice. And we've got this gap along here, which I think I want to fill with these leaves. Oh, you know what? As I'm coming around here, I'm thinking where we have these pillars, they need to come right up to the top. So I'm going to throw these in. All right, all the pillars and the leaves are in. This place is looking tidy. I think next I want to work on the floor and move this crap out of the way. I'm thinking, what if we take some of this grass and try and make some sort of cherry blossom garden. Kind of think that could be pretty nice, you know. So we'll fill this in. We've got a bunch of these pink petals, so I'll throw a load of these down around the edge. Yes, yes. You know what? I think this thing needs a border as well. Hmm, what can we make this out of? I think this purple terracotta might look quite nice. Uh, yes, I thought correctly. Now, I'm thinking we maybe make like a mini sort of pink tree in the middle. But for that, I am going to want some diorite. Like maybe in this cave. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see it. I also see the four creepers down there. But I'm only coming for a little bit of this. And maybe a little bit of this birch wood. All right, let's see if I can make some sort of tree. Oh, here we go. Two hours later. All right, well, I'm not much of a tree guy, but well, it doesn't look too bad. It's a bit like a pink Christmas tree. <laughs> You know what? I could probably embrace it and throw some decorations on it, right? Yep, it's stupid and I love it. Right, next thing on my list is tearing out the edge here. I want to see what it looks like with this crimson wood. Yep, I think that's going to frame it pretty nicely. I'll get the rest done. Nice. Now, there is another thing I want to explore and it's going to require a little bit of clay. Now, this is when it's annoying to have a silk touch shovel because I'm looking for some of these clay balls. Oh, look how good it looks from here. Jeez. Right, enough distractions. Clay is smelting. Then I can show you something cool when it's done. All right, clay smelted and look at this. Decorated pot. You can just craft them with clay bricks. Oh my god, they don't stack. <laughs> they don't stack. Right, I was about to say I want to start placing these randomly around here. So I guess I'll just work on this corner for now. And one more there. Oh, I guess you need silk touch for that. But if I come back to the crafting table and craft up a bunch of these flower pots, which fortunately do stack, you can place them inside these other clay pots, which in turn means you can put stuff inside the pots, just like these cherry blossom saplings. Some leaves on the top of some of them. Look at that. It's like a little cherry display thing. Well, I don't really know what you call it, but I like it. So I'm going to get these in all of the corners and I'll bring you back when it's done. And would you look at this? We got a lovely monument to the cherry blossom. Right now, last thing I want to do is take some of these bone blocks, get some bone meal. I just want to fill in a few of these spots where I tore out the trees. So I would like it to be quite dense around the build. Dense like my brain. Ow. That was good timing. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got a nice view there. Oh, look at that. But with that done, guys, I'm going to call the episode there. If you enjoyed it, consider hitting subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.